Hello. Yo. Hello. You guys know me already. My name is Sandra Nessie and I am your CPA. It is 2024. Today is February the 3rd of 2024. We are already into the second month. I wanted to take a moment to record a video for you guys um, due to overwhelming feedback from existing clientele. Uh, you guys made it very clear that you feel like you should hear from me more. So I think that video would allow me to meet up with that request and to be able to, you know, continue servicing you guys um, without, you know, much interference. So this first video is just to introduce you guys to this new add-on service that we're adding with the, the visual communication, the video communication. In my mind, I feel this would be able to uh, allow us to communicate to you changes that are occurring within the firm, new information uh, pertaining to your business as we come across, which I'll touch base on the most newest thing, the BRI report in a minute, and to also just touch base, you know, just, I don't know, we'll see. This is a new offering, and again, it's just in an effort to let you guys see my face during the year and not just when we meet for tax season, which we'll talk about that too, or during our tax planning sessions. So let, let's begin. The first thing I want to speak on is the BOR report. You guys heard that that came out. There was a new offering or recommendation or requirement by the FinCEN organization, which is a federal organization. So we sent out an email earlier this week to give you more information about that report. Please take a look at that email. If for any reason you did not receive that email, let us know and we will make sure we add you to our, our emailing uh, list so you can get those types of information. But this BOI report is due January 2025. So if you guys decide that it's something that you do not want to complete on your own, we'll be more than happy to help you once we're through a tax season and we can get that filed on your behalf. It's just a report that's requiring disclosure the ownership of your business um, at a federal level because right now you incorporate with the state and yeah that's where it stops other than your tax return reporting so there are some exemptions but again we're in tax season right now so once tax season has concluded we can work on getting these items completed for your company should you decide that's something you want us to do for you uh, and again we'll take care of that before the January 2025 deadline Speaking of tax season, we sent out communication when I was on vacation. Um, I just came back from vacation this week. I think it was on the 28th or something like that. But either way, you should have received uh, an email from us, a letter from us, letting you know about the upcoming tax season. So we're, we've gone completely digital. That means that everything should be uploaded, provided to your portal, and then we'll go from there. Keep in mind, that we will begin working on your return. The clock starts once you've uploaded everything for us to begin. Our, our firm has grown by leaps and bounds. It is a total of seven of us to assist you with all the business service needs that you need, including tax return preparation. So once we're notified that your items have been all provided and you're ready for us to begin, we will provide your tax return to one of the tax preparers. Um, and they'll take care of you and handle you. Once the return is completed, it will come to my review or the other CPA review that we have on staff. We do have another CPA on staff, but one of us will review your return for you to make sure it's accurate and according to the standards and that it's providing you with the best tax savings or whatever your tax strategy may be. We're gonna make sure that your return meets those requirements. Send it over for your approval and then, of course, send it to the agencies. I wanted to take this moment to let you guys know about our schedule. We are very deadline driven. As you know, we're an accounting firm. So we have deadlines from the IRS, Department of Revenue, other federal and state agencies. As you see now, FinCEN is throwing things on us and letting us know to do these types of reporting for them. So we have a lot of deadlines that we're meeting up with on a regular basis. To minimize 
overwhelm or stress and they're already very stressful environment, those are the only deadlines we adhere to. Should you like your return to be prepared expeditiously or if you have certain requests from third parties, maybe your bank is looking for something to be prepared, uh, that would be an additional cost for us to add that task to be completed at a deadline that is other than the deadlines we already are committed to adhering to. So I want to make sure you're aware of that. So during the year, we have a lot of things going on. We just started January. That is where we prepare your 1099s and your W-2s. So for everyone who needed that, we have successfully prepared that for you and, should, and you should have those items in hand. February, we are starting tax preparation for businesses. The business deadline is March 15th. So those would be our first priorities is to make sure that those business returns and your business annual reports are filed on time. Then March, of course, the business deadline, and we can focus on individual tax return preparation. The deadline this year is April 15th. When they allowed it, you know, when they allowed our deadline to be May 15th during COVID, it spoiled me. I'm like, God, I wish we could have that deadline all the time, but unfortunately, that's not the case. So once we get through tax season, I do take another vacation. I do take another vacation. Um, it's a very stressful time of year, and I say deuces, and I'm out. <laughs> so, and then I come back uh, mid-May, and then we start, you know, doing other things that were put on hold during tax season, including responding to any request for financial information for your third-party lenders or whatever the case may be. We always have a lot going on and I just wanted to be transparent with you guys so that you understand uh, why we, we may not be available to communicate to you as expected it's due to all the requirements we have um, as we are a growing business. So let me keep going. May I come back? June we begin our growth our growth level, our growth tier programs. That is where we are actually focusing on budgeting, projections, seeing how your business has done for the first half of the year. Make sure we have everything in line so that you can grow as much as you intend to grow and work towards achieving your goals before the end of the year comes around. So those classes Last year was our first year offering that, and it took us around 13 weeks to accomplish that goal from beginning to end. I'll see how to structure it this year. I would like more attendees, so when I do the video next month, I'll let you know if there's any changes as far as what we anticipate the syllabus to be for the growth tier program that's going to be going on this summer. Then, of course, for anyone who filed an extension, We'll be working on your returns and the deadline for business extensions would be September 15th. And then the deadline for individual extensions would be October 15th. After October 15th, nothing is guaranteed to be accomplished because our next deadline would be January. So really, I take the time um, for the end of October after the October 15th deadline has passed through um, about around December 15th. That is staff training. We go through everything we did for the whole year. We see what we need to do different. We see what we no longer need to do. We just really evaluate our business and see what's going on, what went well, what didn't go well, just making changes all across the board, training staff, hiring new people. This wheel does not stop turning. It does not stop turning. So... That's what we are. So as you reach out to us and you have certain requests or you're looking for someone to respond to you, we hope to have people in place to offer those things to you in a very timely manner. What I'm asking for you is to provide us feedback to let us know, you know, what we are doing well and what can be improved. And we'll work towards that. Hence this video today based on overwhelming feedback from you guys, because you guys are very important to us. So when you tell us, hey, Sandra, uh, we really would like to speak to you more or we really would like to hear from you more, I hear you. 
And here we aim to please on top of giving you immaculate CPA services. So uh, yes, please continue to give us feedback so we can give you what you're seeking and you can see the value and feel the value on top of the increased bottom line of your financials. We want to make sure that you're happy with the services you receive from us. Speaking of the team, we have seven members now. Uh, our admin, Kyra. You guys should have met her because she answers all of our phone calls. And she does most of the responding to the admin email address. Elizabeth, she is our payroll specialist, but she's also the office manager. So she oversees all of the staff members to make sure that everything is going as smoothly as possible. You have me, I'm your CPA, and the owner of the firm. We have Lori, she is the other CPA on board. And she helps me with the CPA level duties. Thea is here for tax preparation. She is a, a really young lady from uh, our New York office. And this is her first year pre preparing tax returns with our firm. But it is not her first year preparing taxes. So we're really happy to have her on board. Serene also prepares taxes on top of her tax preparation skills. Serene is also a great bookkeeper, so you may hear from her on both avenues. Christy has been a long-term bookkeeper with the firm, and she uh, may reach out to you. I'm sure some of you, if you are her client, have heard from her because she is really good on sending out reminders for you guys to send over your bank statements or whatever we need by the 10th of the month. And Kaylee. Kaylee her focus is our engagement letters so you guys would have heard from her as she is renewing the engagement letters or if you happen to be a new be with with the firm she uh, sends those engagement letters out and does all those negotiations to onboard you with the firm i think i've talked about everybody i hope so that's my intention anyways uh, for those of you who are ogs that is our OG clientele, those who have been with us since 2018 when we first began. I thank you. We wouldn't have made it this far without your trust and belief in what we can do for you. And I hope that you have been pleased because for us, we have definitely grown by leaps and bounds. And I've noticed many of your businesses doing the same. And we look forward to continue growing with you. For the new ones who just came along, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. And we look forward to calling you OGs in the nearest future as well. All right. It felt good to do that video. It felt good for me internally. Um, again, I will make it my priority to keep doing these for you. Uh, the next video will probably have something related to tax season about it. If there are any new tax laws, I'll make you abreast of those as well. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you think about this. First of all, I ain't going to edit it like crazy. I'm not going to edit this video like I probably need to because I have other things to do. I have to go out here and do you guys work. I'm actually doing the work and operating the business. So I have to really be uh, mindful of how I manage my time. So I ain't nobody thinking about editing this video. I'm just going to send it out raw. <laughs> but yeah, give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you like to hear me talk about. Um, I anticipate these five, 10 minute videos at, at a max. Um, before I go, let me remind you, our firm does offer second Saturday question sessions. They are via Meetup. So you would need to go to meetup.com and look for us. The name of our group is L-A-E-R. It's learn, apply, expand, and repeat. It is an entrepreneurial group that I have where I just offer my services pro bono and I answer questions for aspiring entrepreneurs or existing entrepreneurs, anyone who has a question for a CPA. I make myself avail available the second Saturday at 1 p.m. every second Saturday, even during tax season. So if you're available, please tune in and yeah, let's see what information you'd like to know and how I can help you with that.
call it a wrap. Thank you for your attention, and I look forward to talking with you at the next one. Thank you.